Man, look at all these games. And I need to pick the best soundtrack? How can I do that? Yeah, I know. I gotta believe. I won't cut you slack. It is time to award the best soundtrack. Huh. Bing Bing Wahoo. Bing Bing Wahoo. Collect all the moons. Collect all the moons. Make the cappy fly. Make the cappy fly. Dive into their mind. Dive into their mind. Dash, jump, and run. Dash, jump, and run. Hard games are fun. Hard games are fun. It is understood. It is understood. You have to get good. I ha have to get good? Catch your robo fish. Catch your robo fish. Balance out your chips. Balance out my chips. After you attack. After I attack. Admire Tooby's ass. Gotta love that ass. Now fight. Fight. Think. Think. And dance. Dance. And link. Link. Now summon. Summon and shoot. Shoot. Now give these freaks the boot. Yeah, give these freaks the boot. Jump onto a spring. Jump onto a spring. Now a giant ring. Now a giant ring. When you do get there. When I do get there. Outline with a square. Outline with a square. Now your flow cannot be ignored. And you will present the soundtrack award. Now my flow, it can't be ignored, and here is the winner of the Soundtrack Award. Good. Keiichi Okabe presented us with fantastic works with his last two Taro games, and only continues the trend in Automata. Near Automata's soundtrack covers a wide range of emotions, from somber to cheerful to tense to peaceful, this time even incorporating dynamic music with as many as nine different stems dedicated to a single track. A lot of love went into the creation of Automata's soundtrack, and that emotion comes through in each song. It's fast, calming, somber, depressing, joyful, and it blends together perfectly. The entire soundtrack is good in its own right, but it's the subtleties that you would miss without examining it on its own that earned the game its position. Okabe's work shined through, exemplifying his passion for the project, bringing us one of the most dynamic and impressive soundtracks we've ever heard. <laughs>